As you can see, I have unlocked the golden egg here in MLB The Show 23, part of the great egg hunt. In this video, I'm just going to go over exactly how I got every single egg and was able to complete the other program, the great egg hunt, where you got to discover those nine hidden eggs. I went over every card in this program in yesterday's video, and I also want to mention that sometimes when you complete one of the missions, it won't pop up as like an after game reward. You have to actually just go into this program, go down to the collections and physically manually collect the egg from there starting with hidden egg number one we're going to be taking a look at the hint for all of them it says there are nine hidden eggs at this very moment the keyword for this one is moment so we want to go back to the main menu you want to completely exit out of diamond dynasty and when you're on the main menu you want to go down and you want to go to moments under the quick play tab and then we can already see once it loads in right away hey there's some easter eggs so you click on other programs and then you click on the great egg hunt and right behind me here you can see complete all of these moments to earn this reward that egg voucher so this is where that hidden egg number one comes in all you got to do is just get these five moments done and you'll have unlocked the egg and this was the very first one where i experienced nothing popped up after i finished the last moment it didn't show that i had gotten the egg but once i went back into diamond dynasty and then you want to go back to the play programs other programs that's how you access the egg hunt i was able to go back in here click on hidden egg number one to view the collection and then just collect it right in here and earn that first 10 points in the great egg hunt program and for hidden egg number two the hint says what do you call an egg that travels around the world an egg explorer if we click on the egg and take a closer look we can see that it has a whole bunch of logos and this is what i'm talking about this is where the eggs might have some hints on the actual egg these logos are actually from mini seasons so so to get hidden egg number two you need to be playing many seasons what i did to get this one done was winning four different games against four different teams in the mini seasons mode not on lefty lucy not on team affinity on the classic mode the mode where you're seeing those logos that were on the egg okay and i'm going to click on here right now and show y'all the teams that i won against some people are saying that it needs to be four teams from four different continents i'm pretty sure mine matched up that way we have the cats as my first win and the continents i'm talking about right cairo that's in egypt which is in africa and then new orleans obviously north america london's in europe and so on and so forth but the cats were the first team that i beat so i decided to skip to a different team and then i beat the whales Liechtenstein for them and then didn't want to play that game so the losses you see here i was just quitting out of these games so my third win then came against the Pinheads because the Lords were on the same continent, right? There were two different teams, Liechtenstein and London, both in Europe. So I didn't want to play against the Lords because I was hearing that some of them got it done by getting it on four different continents. So we also beat the Pinheads and then we also beat the Singers. That is four different teams. Again, the Cats, the Pinheads, the Whales, and the Singers were the four teams I beat. They were all on four different continents, but I don't know if that has to do with it. If you want to be safe, you could just go ahead and beat the Singers, the Pinheads, the Whales, and the Cats. Again, I did it all on rookie difficulty, all in the classic mode of mini seasons, four wins, Four different teams hidden egg number three the hint says this is your chance to become the conqueror of eggs conqueror gives us a hint conquest we can also see the kind of conquest board on the egg itself and this mission has been updated from when it initially got added to the game for hidden egg number three all you need to do is play one conquest game i'm going to show you what it was before and it was glitched out so they had to change the mission because People who had already beaten the stronghold, done this map, were having trouble with it. But on the smooth Jazz Conquest map, the Orioles stronghold is right here at the tip of the saxophone. And initially, you just had to beat that one. But now, any map, I'm pretty sure, it doesn't have to be a specific one. All you need to do, this was confirmed by SDS, 
for hidden egg number three is to play one conquest game. I don't actually think you even need to win it. I think you just need to literally play one conquest game and you should be getting hidden egg number three. For hidden egg number four, the hint says the golden egg is flawless and this leads us to battle royale. You don't need to go flawless. All you need to do for hidden egg number four is hit one home run in battle royale mode. And if you don't know what BR is, I can just show y'all real quick. I think most of y'all probably do, but not everybody plays online. You go to online modes, battle royale, and you literally just need to hit one home run. I got mine done with Evan Longoria in Bayfront Park off of a righty. He only had 63 power. I just got under the ball and hit it for a home run. I would recommend drafting power hitters and also probably playing at Coors Field for an MLB ballpark or maybe Laughing Mountain for a minor league park or just create a custom stadium if you have that option available. Max Elevation Field. Those higher elevation ballparks are just going to make it easier for you to get a home run. But hit an egg number four. You need to hit one home run in Battle Royale. That's how I got it done. Hidden egg number five. The hint says, why did the egg refuse to fight? It didn't want to crack under pressure. The egg has the World Series trophy on it. This is referring to ranked seasons. Now, what I did personally to get this done was played a full nine inning co-op game, 3v3 ranked. But what you need to do to get this done from what I've heard is play a ranked seasons game. 1v1, 2v2, 3v3 and from what i've heard it only needs to be one or two innings long i'm pretty sure if you play at least one inning in a ranked seasons game and you and or your opponent quit the game then i think you should be getting this egg you might want to play a full ranked seasons game just to be safe like i said i was able to get this one done in a nine inning 3v3 co-op game but i've heard tons and tons of people saying oh i got it done when my opponent quit in three innings i quit in the second inning and got it done even though i lost because i quit so ranked seasons play a few innings and you should be getting hit an egg number five hidden egg number six the hint says when going for a stroll avoid walking on eggshells the keyword here is walking for this one i got it done by getting five walks in any mode in diamond dynasty events conquest rank seasons i would probably recommend doing events i will say some people said they got it done just by drawing a walk on a three two count so i've heard some people saying oh it's five walks i've heard some people saying no it's a three two and then drawing a walk my fifth walk was my only walk that happened in a three two count so i'm not really 100 percent sure my fourth and fifth walks came from events again that's what i would probably recommend the quick counts are on in that mode right now hit an egg number six five walks any mode in diamond dynasty the mode that i would recommend playing is events and maybe look out for a three two count drawing a walk on that specifically hidden egg number seven the hint says is there a way to decorate cards like there is for eggs if we take a closer look at the egg hey that looks a little bit familiar and this is referring to parallels within cards within diamond dynasty parallel xp and for hidden egg number seven you need i'm pretty sure 1000 parallel xp with any of the players that you see here so what i did was used catfish hunter in the other modes right mini seasons conquest events any mode that you're gonna have to be playing for any other egg maybe use catfish hunter because he's the first card that you get but i got my 1000 xp with him and that was how i unlocked hidden egg number seven a thousand parallel xp i don't think you need to get a card to parallel two because i think some people got it done by getting the first two cards both to parallel one even though i got it done by getting catfish hunter to parallel two i'm pretty sure it's just 1000 parallel xp with any of the cards that are part of the great egg hunt program hidden egg number eight the hint says what came first the bird or the egg the keyword there is bird if we take a closer look at the egg hey they're teams with bird logos the cardinals the orioles the blue jays i personally picked the orioles and what you need to do for hidden egg number eight is play and i'm pretty sure win a play versus cpu game against one of those teams orioles blue jays cardinals i did the orioles i'll show you exactly how i set it up and what i did single player modes play versus cpu which is behind the camera all the way on the right 
and then i played the orioles on rookie difficulty i was the home team i don't think that should matter but i was the home team and i ended up winning a nine inning play versus cpu single player mode game versus that bird team the orioles and that was how i unlocked hidden egg number eight hidden egg number nine the hint says egg hunts are quite eventful keyword there eventful what i did to get hidden egg number nine was play events basically just play events until you get this egg and again it might not pop up in the after game rewards or anything you're gonna need to actually go in click view collection and the egg will show here and be available for you to collect it now i don't know 100 percent what you need to do for this i'm pretty sure it's play four five maybe six innings of event games it took me four event games i've been seeing some people saying two some people saying three i'm pretty sure this is an ending requirement if you play events and you play three four games all of them two three innings i can almost guarantee this egg will be in your inventory just pretty much play events till you have it and then you will have hidden egg number nine drop a like if this helped you out subscribe for daily uploads on the channel and i will see y'all in tomorrow's upload thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a great weekend a great easter if you celebrate peace out